All right, we got a 2021 Kawasaki KLX 110. It's developed a bog, kind of off idle when you whip the throttle. So I believe it's most likely going to be the pilot jet that's stopped up. So we're going to take this thing apart and clean it. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that without taking apart all the plastic. Um, for the most part, you're going to really need to take off the seat, the plastic, these bolts, and then this shroud here, which really isn't that difficult, but there's actually an easier way to do this. You can actually drain the, the bowl, turn your fuel off, drain the bowl, take these two bolts out on the manifold, and then back out your screw on your boot, and then that'll give you enough room to twist this just a little bit to get to the bottom. So then you can take your bowl off, clean the bowl, get your tools up to the jets, and then clean that out. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna turn our fuel off. So right there is in the off position. And then we're gonna go drain the, uh, the bowl. So back on the right side of the bike, we're gonna go ahead and grab the, uh, the drain tube for the bowl. And we're gonna put that in a bucket. So we can just drain and catch the gas and dispose of that properly. And then on the left side of the bike is where the, uh, the valve is, or the screw is for the bowl drain. And it's just a flathead screwdriver. That's all you need. So we'll back that out. Let that drain. Okay, I can hear it pouring out over there. So we're gonna let that, we make sure we got the gas off so it just doesn't keep running. Now we're gonna let that drain and then we're gonna go start loosening the two bolts on the manifold here. All right, so I've already backed out the bolt on the other side, so I'm gonna get this side here. And then after that, we'll get that air boot loosened up and we'll be able to twist this guy out so we can work on it. All right, so I've got the spacer out here. It's actually right here. Now, just keep in mind the O-ring goes away from the carburetor. And I went ahead and loosened this boot to where this is completely free, so now, we can just simply twist this carb to where we can get to both of the bolts underneath, and then we can take that bowl off. And then once we take the bowl off, we'll be able to get to the jets. We'll pull those out and we'll start cleaning. So when you pull this out, you really wanna be careful not to bend your floats. So right now my float's still moving pretty free. That pin's freely in there. This pin right here, you can actually push it in and out. And if you push it out, you, this whole thing will fall down. So just be careful not to do anything with that. Got my bowl sitting out here and I'm looking at it. I really don't see any debris down there, so that's pretty good. Maybe, maybe that one little speck right there, yeah. So a little bit of debris. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. So we'll clean all this up before we put it back together. Uh, and then so next, we're gonna get to that jet and pull it out. So the jet on the left is the pilot jet. That's what we're gonna pull out and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and just look at both. I'll probably look at this main jet too just to see but that pilot jet on the left is actually what we're going for so here is the pilot jet so i don't think i'm gonna be able to show you this on the camera but you cannot see through it I've just kind of blow through it a little bit real quick just but you cannot see light through it um which is a good indication uh, very little i think you can finally see it. i don't know if you can see it on camera but very very little light so we're gonna take compressed air and air compressor blow up in there. And then I'm also gonna take a piece of small wire and run up in there to see if it's just pushed anything out. So I pulled a 40 out of it. And just for fun, I'm gonna put a 42 in it just to see if it makes a difference. Um, it seems like really nowhere, no matter what I do with the 40, it's still got a little bit of a bog. Uh, I did go ahead and clean it out. Blew it out real nice and well so you can actually see through it. Uh, you can see it's that 42. Uh, you can kind of see through that 40 there. So. I'm just going to try it and see if I can get it to run. Here we go. All right, so I went to the 42 Pilot just as a test, just to see how it was going to work, and it does not run any better. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw that 40 back in it. I cleaned it out already, so I think that's really just going to do the trick and make this thing run like a gym. So, so we just need to uh, take it all back apart, and then we'll uh, get to running again. So like I said earlier, I had a 42, just played with the 42 to try it. 
and now I'm gonna put a 40 back in it. So that's what I've been running as a 40. Stock is 38. I really feel like 38, the stock, you just have such a horrible bog that I think the 40 really helps. It doesn't completely eliminate it, but it takes it away. And I'm still running the stock air box, stock air boot, uh, nothing modified. The exhaust hasn't been ported, so nothing, it's literally stock. Everything is the way it came from the factory. So I think going up to a 40 and then changing your air fuel ratio a little bit on that the outside screw there helps out a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the 40 and hopefully it'll run pretty good. Because we did clean this out, so you can, it's hard to see, but I definitely did clean it out. And I think it'll be running like a top. So again, we're putting this back together. And this pin here is something you need to watch. It's actually what holds the float on, but it's loose. There's nothing that really holds it on either side, so you can move it. It can fall out fairly easily. Um, it's not hard to put back in, but the big thing is it's easy to fall out and you can lose it. So keep an eye on that. Just keep it kind of centered when you're putting your ball back on. And then uh, it's pretty straightforward after that. Mm -hmm.